Well, there's a big debate going on just down the road from us in Hempstead, New York. And guess who's there but the one and only Sarah Murray. She joins us now from there where she's taking a look around. Sarah, what is the mood like in Hempstead? You know, I think that people are really just excited to get the ball rolling. Obviously, Governor Romney and the president have very different goals. And the president, you know, really wants to come out with a much sharper tone and kind of take Romney to the mat a little bit more this time. And, you know, Romney's just going to try to maintain his same performance and, and stick with this enthusiasm bump he's gotten that's been giving him this tightening in the polls lately. Mm. So um, are, are, are the different sides, the different camps that are all there, are they excited? Um, you know, I mean, I guess getting the base riled up is also part of this exercise as well, isn't it? It's not just about swing voters. Exactly. The interesting thing you're seeing this morning is the Obama campaign can't really afford to play the low expectations game. So their advisors have been saying, look, the president's going to deliver a strong performance. Get ready. Whereas the Romney people are kind of wavering between the two while the president still has an advantage. And while well, our debate prep has been going really well and we think Governor Romney's ready. So there's a lot of this manipulating expectations, uh, you know, in these last hours before the debate. Now, well, one of the things we do know about Mitt Romney is he's been campaigning longer because he had to go through all those primaries. Um, so doesn't that give him a little bit of an edge? He's, he's definitely not rusty because he's been doing this for basically a year. I do think that gives him an edge. His advisors would say, look, none of those debates were a town hall format. They had a lot of people on stage. It wasn't kind of one to one. But the truth is, Governor Romney's done tons of town halls, dozens of them over the past year. And he's very used to taking questions from voters. Usually the audiences are sympathetic to him, but he's had tough questions, too. Well, we shall see. Sounds very exciting. And of course, uh, you'll be covering that tonight um, along with the rest of everyone um, at WSJ. Thank you, Sarah Murray in Hempstead, New York, for the debate.